Shadi goes to court, pleads guilty to two charges, both gun related. The question is though, wasn't he in trouble for like eight or nine different charges? What happened to those? Me and the notification gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for morning coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. BBN, Jack Frost. What's up, party people? I so yeah. So apparently, Shadi, Treyway Shadi, Kafano Shadi, Jordan Shadi, Kafano Shadi, Jordan Shadi of Treyway has pleaded guilty in two racketeering cases. Back, back, basically, uh, two charges involving the uh, racketeering charges that had been placed against Treyway earlier or in the end of last year that we know of. And the two charges that he actually pled to were gun charges. Now, with that being said, before I even really get into uh, basically the logistics of everything, he was recorded two different times that we know of involving guns. He was recorded on the gun that he uh, allegedly came out, allegedly had when he, when, when um, their car was being followed, it was being said by a rival uh, set of, or a rival gang members. And he got out of the vehicle after the vehicle had gotten, basically there was a, a, a garbage truck and it was in the way. For everybody that don't know in New York City, uh, when you're like in Manhattan somewhere or whatever the case might be, anyway, you could be anywhere. And the garbage truck is there and they stop to start throwing garbage in the truck. There is no getting around. You feel me? Like it's a wrap. That whole street, that whole block. Y'all going to be sitting there until them dudes finish their job. There's nothing nobody going to be able to do. So there's a situation like that occurred where they were driving and there was a allegedly, allegedly being followed by another, another car of people who were, as they say, chasing them. They jumped out of the car, shoddy, allegedly allegedly had a weapon on him and he is said to have fired into the other vehicle. No one was struck. No one was hit. The other gun charge is when they were inside of, I guess you want to call it a, a lobby of a building and they were supposed to be robbing uh, members of another rival gang. So these are the two Guilty pleas, I'm assuming, they, they don't really, uh, I haven't seen anywhere where they actually detailed which charges they were, but those were the only two gun charges that I could remember that Shadi was directly involved with. And both of those gun charges, by the way, uh, in both of those sentences, or pardon me, in both of those situations, he was on camera, he was on film. It's not something that is debatable. He was on film. And while he was on film, they showed him with the weapon. And when he had the weapon, it looked like, you know, first of all, he had the weapon. So that's that, period. That's 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 it. Anyway, so um, right here, it says just about two months after the six after six, nine pleaded guilty to firearms and federal racketeering charges. First of all, shout out to Double XL for this particular article that I'm gonna be telling you about at the moment. Uh, shout out to Peter A. Berry. That's the person that actually authored this particular article. And it says, just about two months after 6ix9ine pleaded guilty to firearms and federal racketeering charges, his former manager, Kafano Shadi Jordan, has also entered a guilty plea. Now, the fact that they're saying that he only pled guilty to two federal charges, uh, right here it says, according to Vulture, Shadi pled guilty to two federal weapons charges on Thursday. That's today, by the way. Um, I would also have to believe that there's a good chance that you're not going to plead to some of the charges and then not the other charges because it don't really make sense. Unless you have a deal. I'm not saying that Shadi has a deal. I am not saying that Shadi is uh, talking out of turn. I'm not saying he's snitching. I'm not saying any of that. 
But what I am saying is, is that there's eight, nine charges that all fall under Shadi also. He pleads out to two of these charges. The way that the feds work is they give you points. So he got points for these two particular charges. By the way, before we even go any further, these two charges, I believe one of them is a minimum of five years and the other one is a minimum of 10. Both of them hold a maximum of life. One thing that I do find particularly interesting is prior to uh, Thursday, March 28th, and Shadi going to court to take care of all of these things and to plead out and whatever and whatnot. Shadi just had a, there's a video surfaced with him and DJ Punch speaking. So, uh, one thing I want to just say, everybody is getting on Takashi 69 for allegedly, allegedly being the only one to snitch in Treyway. So, all I'm saying, I'm not calling anyone a snitch. Let's just get this clear. The only person that we know for a fact is talking is Takashi 69 because we literally have paperwork exclaiming, pardon me, explaining how he's speaking. Okay. So other than that, we really can't say anybody else is talking. We can just hypothesize. We can just guess. We can just, you know, assume with anyone else. But let's just be clear on something. Shadi pled out to two charges. For Shadi to plead out to only two charges, what happened to the other charges? Were they dropped? Remember the other day when we was talking to Meezy and Meezy said that he was in court and they put in a lot of paperwork to have charges dropped? Were these charges dropped? Did something happen involving Shadi that he was able to get a lot of charges dropped Against him, that 6 9 somebody that we know is talking, could not get dropped against himself. So, if 6 9 who we know is talking, because we have paperwork confirming that, there were charges that he could not get dropped. And Shadi, an individual that he pled guilty to the two gun charges, two things that he could not get out from under because there was video evidence of it. He pled guilty to only those two charges. So maybe Shadi's lawyers believe they can beat the other charges. I have no idea. I don't currently know. I'm, I'm hoping I can find out. Or, 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 did Shadi decide that he was going to go the way of 6 9 Now, I'm not accusing him of that. I have no idea. But I do want to mention something else. Something I was looking into, but I couldn't get no real clear evidence of. So I did not make the video. I mean, I made the video, but I couldn't substantiate the claims that people were making that was in the video. So I just couldn't put the video out. But there are people, there is a person specifically who is currently locked up that had an interview with a a different YouTube content creator, and they accused DJ Punch of snitching on them. So I only say that to say this. Does anybody remember when, uh, what's his name? Skinny from the nine was uh, speaking out and he was very upset about the situation that happened with him when the guy came and hit him and he's saying he's not talking to the police. And he threw a ton of rappers under the bus by saying that's what other rappers are doing in order to not have charges come against them. They're becoming witnesses and they're talking and he's not doing that. I just I just wanted to, you know, full disclosure, leave all of that out there so people could really see. But at the end of the day, we need real paperwork, not fake paperwork. Some of this paperwork that comes out, it's not real paperwork. Some of this paperwork come out, it does, I don't see seals on it. If I don't see seals on it, it don't look official. 
I'm not jacking it. That's me. You can feel however you want to feel about whatever you want to feel about. But right now, for what we know is, Shadi has pled guilty on two charges of gun possession. Right? One from the attempted shooting outside the Barclays and another one from Manhattan. Most likely, both of those uh, particular cases is going to be rounded out in a one. Not for anything. It's like if you rob, if you get caught for the feds, let's say you rob like 11 banks. Usually you just get charged for, I guess, the one. The one is the uh, the one that is the highest. That's usually what you're going to do the time for or whatever. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure, but this is what I hear. I haven't been charged with any federal crimes before. Okay, so uh, leave it down in the comments. I want to know what y'all guys think about this. It, shoddy has pled out to two charges. One that happened on April 3rd that took place in Manhattan. Assault, pardon me. Uh, and the other one was the shooting, the actual shooting that happened outside the Barclays Center on April 21st. So I want to know what you guys think about this. The fact that these seem to be the only charges that he's pled guilty to. What happened to all the other charges? Did they get dropped or is it just something that he's not pleading to? And then he's going to end up going to court to fight. We don't know at this point. We'll see. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe, join the notification game. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember... Positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.